Hey, what is up, phone dogs? Bo HD here. And as promised, since you guys passed 500 likes on my last Android Lollipop video, this is my top five favorite features of Android 5.0 Lollipop. I do want to prefix this with the fact that Android Lollipop has a ton of new improvements, and I'm sure everyone has their own opinion as to what they think is best, but this is my list. So my first favorite feature has to do with Chromecast. In Android Lollipop, you can now cast your screen over to Chromecast just by pressing cast screen. It's built into the OS and it's extremely easy to do. And as you can see, it works really well. And I just love this feature because honestly, why wouldn't you? You can easily and conveniently throw content on your relatively small displayed phone to a bigger TV for you or your friends and family to see. It's great and I just love it. The next feature that made it on my list is the new guest mode features built into Android Lollipop. All you need to do to activate this feature is to tap on the little user icon in the upper right hand corner when you pull down the settings drawer and you will be presented with the option to add a guest. And bam, just like that you'll be in a guest account that is completely separate from your main account, meaning all your precious Google and social networking accounts won't be there. So in theory, you can pass it to a friend and let them use your phone without really worrying too much about them having access to your personal info. And since it's baked into this OS, it's very easy to enable and to toggle on and off. Another one of my favorite features has to do with lock screen notifications. This is pretty simple, but with the new Android Lollipop operating system, basically you can now view notifications on your lock screen, and you can do a couple different things with the notifications. First of all, you can swipe them away to remove the notifications, and you can also double tap on them to open the notification up. I mean, the whole process is just very fluid, and in a future update, Face unlock will now work in the background, so when you look at your notifications, it will automatically unlock your phone, which is a really neat feature. Now if we dive back into this OS, Android Lollipop also redid their multitasking. They actually renamed it to Overview instead of just referencing it as the multitasking menu or drawer. Basically it turns each running app into a giant card so you can easily scroll through all the cards. And of course all the cards overlap and look like a stack of paper cards. But what's cool is that each app can create multiple cards, so if you open up a couple browser tabs, you can switch to each specific browser tab in Overview. It also applies to Gmail, where if you're composing an email, you can switch to your inbox or the draft you were just typing. So basically, there can be multiple Gmail or Chrome cards in Overview to help you quickly find the information you're looking for. But that leads me to my absolute favorite feature, which I 100% believe is a feature, and that is the new material design. Without the new material design in Android Lollipop, the OS wouldn't be half as elegant and appealing as it is now. With the new material design, everything shares a similar theme as it flows in and out of your display like cards, apps appear from the bottom of the screen, Google now swipes in from the left, and notifications themselves appear as miniature cards that can be swiped away at ease. Everything incorporates visual, motion, and interactive design, which creates a very unified OS that's fast and fluid. It just really spices Android up and makes it much less stale. And so with that last one, that is my top five favorite Android Lollipop features. There are definitely some that didn't make the cut in this video, but these are my personal favorite. Let me know what your personal favorite Android Lollipop features are by leaving me a comment down below. But as always guys, I'm BoHD from PhoneDog.com. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. See ya.